Well, hello there today. God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a fantastic day. Uh, now listen, as you notice, I got a, a microphone here. Uh, we, listen, this won't be here f uh, forever. We, this is, we, we're testing some things because we're getting ready for some other things that we're working on and we're constantly trying to improve and, and move up and to reach as many people as we can with the truth of God and the truth about God. The truth about God is that he's holy. He's the only true and living God, that the God of the Bible is the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he knows all, that he sees all, that he hears our prayers and he answers our prayers, that he is a deliverer and he is in charge. Now, the truth of God has to do with God's positions on things. What God says is holy. Uh, unions that God uh, has blessed and declared to be legitimate. God's position on social issues. God's position on the, uh, the how our families are to be governed and how we are to live our lives. The truth of God and the truth about God, my friend, is something that we cannot live without. And I thank God for the privilege of coming to you every week to invite you to come uh, and join me at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ as we study the Word of the Lord, as we walk in the truth of God and the truth about God. The God of the Bible, there is, that is, because there's only one and true uh, living God. You know, for a person, for a thing, for an entity to be God, it's got to be omnipresent. It's got to, it's got to be uh, uh, omniscient. It's got to have all of these attributes. It's got to know everything. Uh, it's got to, he's got to see everything, and he, he's everywhere. And the question becomes, how many beings like that can there be? There's only room for one. And I've discovered that one. And my friends, you have. He's the God of the Bible, the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, I'm excited about what I'm going to, what I'm going to talk to you about tonight. Listen, how do you handle it as things uh, last longer than we thought that they would? How do you handle it? How do you keep your composure when a, uh, shall I say, a temporary setback turns out to be a chronic one? When that which was supposed to last a few days ended up lasting a few months or maybe even a few years or maybe even a decade? What do you do when that which you thought would be over in no time flat and yet you're still contending with it? So my friends, the word of the Lord speaks to all of these things. And we're living in a day where the masks are still around, the COVID restrictions are still around. You know, all of this was supposed to be just three weeks. Churches are still closed. Some people are, thank God, going back to their, their churches. Um, but the, 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 the COVID-19, the, the, the quarantine, they're talking about new variants and new strands and uh, all of these things are going on. So I want to tell you that there's nothing happening that, the, that God's word uh, does not speak to and has not spoken to. So I want you to join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Whether you join me in person or join me online, you got to join as we walk in the scriptures. And I'm inviting you to join me for, now you know what's coming next, Bible study. <laughs> Yes, I don't know why I get so tickled at that. Amen. Maybe it's because it's just this little thing. Uh, but when I, when I think about the importance of the Word of God, and we get a, a drum roll for for Bible study. You know, when people get a drum roll, they, they they're looking for something dramatic and and something huge and you know something out of the ordinary. Well, to us. And to you, to this audience, and to the members of the upper room, and to us, 
Bible study is a big deal. Bible study is something out of the ordinary. Bible study is our life's blood. The preaching and teaching of the Word of God means more to us than any and everything else. So, we'll see you here tonight. Uh, amen. And God is going to bless us real good as we study the scriptures together. Now, you make it a fantastic day.